it's Janelia Santos and I just want to share some tips I've used in the past five years I've been in Pasay and I just want to share it to um, incoming or Pasay freshies and aspiring Pasay scholars. And yeah, here are six tips for the six years you will be in Pasay. So these are general tips that I have used in the past few years and I'll start now. So the first step I want to share is to don't overwork yourself because um, overworking yourself leads to burning out and um, burning out just doesn't is not productive and remember that rest is very productive so rest for a while then go back to the stuff you are doing but don't um, exhaust yourself too much because it will also affect the quality of your work. Tapos, tip number two, have friends or constant. So I have um, a lot of friends. Tapos, some of them are my constant since grade seven. Tapos, they've also helped me distress, go out when um, no face to face. We had we remember. I remember na we go out a lot. Tapos, we just. Yeah, have fun, set time zone, to try na Tapos yun, have friends to talk to kasi they will also help you survive here in Pisay. Tapos, third tip I'm giving is to join mentorship programs. So, I'm most familiar with Mitsas mentorship program. Pero, a lot of other campuses uh, host mentorship programs for incoming grade 7 students and also for aspiring Pisay scholars, so make sure to join those programs kasi madami kayong makikilala na gusto rin mag Pisay and it will help you gain um, knowledge uh, na you can apply well, uh, you can apply during the admissions process and you can also use these to be more confident about yourselves. Tapos, fourth tip I have is to have extracurricular activities Ito rin yung isang way para mag-distress ako, like joining orgs and clubs sa school. Kaya, um, especially no face-to-face, sobrang daming ganap sa mga, extra, sa mga clubs ko sa school. And, yeah, sobrang nag-enjoy ako in joining all those stuff. Tapos, they also help me be more confident about myself. So, that's a plus factor. Kaya, nire recommend ko talaga mag-extracurriculars. I did a whole video about extracurriculars. I'll link it there. That was the fifth tip I have is to talk with friends and family. Kasi sila rin yung makakaintindi sa'yo. It may be different for other people, pero I really recommend talking to them. Kasi I get to vent out what I'm really feel- feeling. Tapos parang yun na rin yung pag-distress ko. And yeah, I feel like I've been talking to them naman the past few years. Kasi sometimes sometimes it's really hard to keep it all to yourself. So yeah, I need support kaya I talk to them. Tapos, tip number six, the most important tip is to have fun. Uh, most people may, uh, may think na it's very difficult to have fun in Pisay, pero I have to disagree. It is very easy to have fun given that a lot of friends, teachers, and relationships relationships are made in Pisay. And they also help you accomplish a lot of things, do a lot of things, enjoy your life. And yeah, although recs are, um, there are a lot of recs requir- or requirements, um, you can still enjoy your time there by clubs, by hanging out with your friends, papa deli ng food after school, and yeah, it's very easy to have fun, especially kasi parang sinosuportahan ka naman ng lahat ng tao there in Pasay. So yeah, here are the six, yun yung mga six tips na I really wanted to share. Tapos yun, I hope you learned and I hope you can apply this in the future. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.